You know, God's been speaking to us a lot at Kingsway about revival, revival. And honestly, I wanna tell you, revival, because of how it's been misused and that word has been used wrongly in times past, I, I think it's one of those words we need to recover. Because it needs to be redefined. Because revival is not about a place or a thing, it's about a people. And before we pray for God to bring revival to the church, we need to pray, God, bring revival to my chest. Revive me, revive me. Because if he, can find, if he can find people who are revived, people who are brought back to life, people who have been nourished and strengthened by the spirit of God, have been quickened, they've not just recovered, but they've been restored, then all of a sudden he can change a city. And it's interesting when you look at the definition of resurrection and revival or resurrect and revive, the definitions are identical except for Revival also means to bring back from financial depression. Let me just read this to you real quick. Re revival, excuse me, resurrect means to restore to life, to raise from the dead, to revive the practice, use, or memory of something to bring new vigor and new strength. And I wanna tell you, we're here celebrating the resurrection of Jesus, but Jesus, listen, how many of you know that Paul said the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead lives in you and lives in me. So it is his resurrection we come to celebrate, but we don't just come to watch and celebrate and sing about, we come to learn about so we can live from. We're called to live a resurrected life, a new life. A life of, of renewed vigor, a life of renewed strength because he makes all things new. The word revive means to return to consciousness or life, to become active or flourishing again, to bring back, to nourish, to strengthen, to bring back from the dead, to recover from financial depression. How many of you know, listen, I, I, I want a resurrection and I want a revival. Amen? And I don't want it just a revival that's an outward sign. I want an inward move. I want an inward flame. I don't want revival that is, that is known by, 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 by meetings and people coming together in a common place at a common time for a common thing. I think that's the fruit of it, but it can't be the root of it. Because if we're coming for that, we're coming for a meeting instead of coming for the manifest presence. And I wanna tell you, God is wanting to resurrect and God is wanting to revive. If you came here today and you walked in dead, dead man walking, you're gonna walk out of here as a new man living. If you came in today and maybe you're a Christian, maybe you're a believer, maybe you've known Jesus for 30 years, but there's some places in you that just ain't living like they used to. They're not burning like they once were. You don't have that fervor, that fire, that passion, that vigor. God will quicken it today by his Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for taking your time to join with us for one of our most recent services here at Kingsway Church. Again, we pray that you enjoyed your time viewing this video. And we invite you, if you're watching this on YouTube, click the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on newly uploaded content. If you're watching this on one of our social media platforms, we encourage you to like and share this video with your friends. And if you're watching on our website, kingswayal.com, we ask that you send us an email at info at kingswayal.com. Let us know where you're watching from and how this service impacted you. We bless you.